Hi there, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. I'm here with my slide sling camera strap. Pretty nifty, if you ask me. I just got it and I'm just trying it out. Um, I think I like it. I just want to give you guys my opinions about it. Originally, it was supposed to be an unboxing, but as you can see, not only are they unboxed, but they are installed. And I keep redoing this video because there's more things I'm realizing about it. And I want you guys to be very informed before buying more accessories for your mirrorless camera. Um, it's funny, people used to buy mirrorless cameras for their light form factor, but now they're just as heavy duty as any other camera they probably got rid of to move to Fuji systems. Anyway, uh, when you get the slide, they may come in this packaging or this packaging. They are both the slide, not the slide light. The slide is supposedly a little thicker than the slide light. Um, both are heavy duty. It can handle any camera, but I recommend the slide because it already feels pretty thin, like a seatbelt. Uh, that you would find in an airplane and it does not feel it feels very comfortable and soft i use guitar straps uh that are made of seat belts so very similar to this i'm used to this um, and i like the way it slips around my body it feels very nice um so the slide light i don't think i would get um, now if you use a mirrorless system without a bottom plate like i have an extra grip if you don't have um uh, if you just have a pancake lens, then sure, something around the wrist, like like this here, a lens camera strap that goes around the wrist only, um, or a slide light would be okay. But if you're going to spend the money for a nice accessory that looks nice and heavy duty at the same time, those are kind of hard things to find that are quality, uh, this is a pretty good option. And I'll get into more of the features and how it operates in a little bit. Before I used to use a lens camera straps and the issue was before I had the bottom plate it would either go on two places the right side corner or the left side corner and when I take pictures with my right hand it would just get bunched up here. Um, I guess I could have added another like piece of rope here to make it extend so it was like thinner up here um, but I didn't like that so I didn't I moved it to my left side but then having something strapped to my non-dominant hand didn't feel natural to me. So I got the bottom plate here. I attached the bottom of the, of the bottom plate and that was okay. But after going on a long uh, camping trip, um, having it always dangling in my arm with heavy prime lenses, now that I'm into bigger lenses um, for the results that I want, it made it a drag, uh, literally, to always have um, a camera and a lens strapped to my hand. I felt like at any moment my hand was going to be cut off from the rest of my body. I was always so tight. So long story short, I've settled on something like this despite all the other options on Amazon. So if you're interested in looking into more of something like this, check out the links below in the comments or in the description box. It helps out the channel. So thank you very much in advance. Um, here we have this tether and lock system here. Um, it kind of slides out of here and it has this little dangly thing and it kind of slides and clips into place. So you could have maybe a wrist style from Peak Design or this and just snap it on. If you want to change colors, you could do that. Um, as you can see, I have one to the bottom plate here and to the uh, top left hand corner with the D ring here and it falls to my side. Up here is a grippy part, a uh, rubberized silicone, which is ribbed for her pleasure. And if you flip it this way, you can uh, take advantage of that and it won't slide around as much because it grips on your clothes. Um, I personally, after some experimentation, do not like that. I like to have it slip around my body. Like this okay um, the grippy part feels like kind of like not an afterthought but a bonus um, like hey let's make one side grippy the problem is when you do that this part gets a little tangled up because you're gonna want to flip it back again to the non grippy side and look it's tangling up here 
and they don't include one of those 360, you know, free turning things, you're going to have to, you know, straighten this out. You could just detach it. Like this, straighten it out again so it's not tangled up. Don't drop your camera because it's not secure. Make sure it's the way you want it and then secure it back into place. And now it's not tangled up, it's not trying to go one way or the other. Um, I prefer to keep it this way. I think. The grippy part doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I think it's a good idea. If anything, it shows off some texture and the logo design. I think that's okay. Um, I guess if they're going to print something there, might as well be functional. So that's why I call it the bonus idea that this is. It doesn't really make sense. Also, when you flip it, right, then the buckle is now facing inward. So it looks like I'm wearing it inside out. Um, which is not a big deal. Again, it's it's a perk. It's a cool idea. If you're going to have a strap, there's two sides to the strap, might as well make it one side slip, one side stick. But it would make more sense if this was uh, had a swivel to it. I think you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was that these here are not locks. It is around my neck. It is not changing lengths right now. Um, it may seem like it's locked because of these, but these are not locks. The pressure just naturally keeps it from moving. So what are these then? Because I could adjust the length one way or the other just by moving it. And then if I want to make it shorter again, I just grab this back side here, this back, uh, and I just pull it like that. You know, where you're pulling it or pushing it up, however you want to look at it. It's uh, lengthening and shortening like that. It is very easy uh, in the sensation as you push and pull. That's great. But this has nothing to do with it. This is simply a handle. It can lock up, it can lock down. Is this necessary? I don't know. I just know it looks cool. This one has a, like a space age rivet that blends in. Uh, this one has a little splash of red there. Again, so is it worth the money? Um, I'll let you know how much I paid for it down below. Um, I think it's premium and that's what you're paying for. And the design and the look of it is very cool. Even though there's other ones, they may come with more stuff. Um, like a like storage bag up here and like, you know, do you really need all that? Um, it might be too bulky. This is a very minimalist, um, outdoorsy, uh, urban look all at the same time. It kind of looks like an outdoorsman, leatherman made this strap uh, with his friend that graduated from a NASA school of astronomy because this space age type of material and the way things fit together. So um, I'm going to use it. If I have any more updates, I'll let you guys know. But there are a few things about it that appeal to me. The seat belt strap material feels very durable because it's like doubled on itself. It's not just one single sheet of seat belt material. It feels a little like doubled up and cushiony here as well. And don't get the slide light because the slide already is pretty thin and you want to have as much uh, surface area as possible to distribute the weight. Now, if you have a thinner, smaller camera, this is not that big of an issue, but we all tend to go a little big sometimes. So might as well get something that covers all the bases. Uh, yeah, all right. I hope this helps everyone. Uh, just, just so you know, before we end, uh, we, this does come with Allen keys. Um, this base plate, which is very, very small, this goes at the bottom, and I think they have an attachment that goes into a tripod. I do not have that. I don't intend on using this because I have a base plate. I don't think I showed you guys the black one yet, but the black one has splashes of red threading and accent colors here and there. But again, I can take this off if I ever wanted to and put it on this camera simply because it has the anchors on it. 
it's uh, interchangeable. I'm not sure why you wouldn't do that, but you know, just so you guys know. All right, um, I hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. This card included in the packaging tells you when to replace the anchor. Good information to know.